<coughs> so, welcome to either. <laughs> this is our, what, fifth try? <laughs> our fifth try, yes, I think so. We, we, um, we talked about uh, autoerotic asphyxiation. Yes. Uh, how my mom used to beat me. Right. And how Tormental loves musicals. Yes, I love musicals. Um, me too. I can't think Sound of, of one off the top of my head, but I love them. <laughs> cats. I you said cats last time. I thought you said hats. I was like, I don't think that's a musical. Oh, okay. I like Check out too. my hat. It's very nice, but yeah. So, my first choice here is would I rather drive a bright red smart car or be spanked by Rosie O'Donnell every morning? Those are both awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... A million dollars, or you know, uh, I, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll get a. I guess smart cars okay. I guess those are expensive, but being spanked by Rosie O'Donnell's expensive too. So I don't know if you'd get tired know. of it every morning, though. I mean, yeah, it is, after it is amazing. I'll, but I'd be, like, I'd be like, come on, Rosie. I just I feel nasty, like just vomity, and she just, uh, you know how she is. You know how I, Rosie is. I think that I'm going to have to choose a bright red smart car over a bright red smarting ass. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. weird. 73% of people agreed with me. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. I, I A lot of people, I know how much everyone loved Donald. So, it's crazy. Oh, this call. <laughs> is Let's it bad? Let's move on. <laughs> what, is, what is your uh, next question? Since you answered one that we did... On your video, but not on mine, because the call dropped. All right. So, never be able to compliment, or never be able to complain. Huh. Screw complimenting. I love complaining. Half yeah. of my life, half of my channel's complaining. So, you know what? <laughs> Could... I will go with, the, you know, the complimenting. Screw that part. Who would watch a channel of somebody just complimenting everything? I mean, that's basically the commercial before the video starts, is complimenting products. Yeah. Hey, God, you guys are amazing. Oh, yeah, just, you're all beautiful. I, I bet you all big penises. I just, uh, everything about you is great. Oh, Life oh, is Strange you. is so wonderful, and Bloodborne is so simplistic and easy to play. Oh, uh, just, I, I just love you. You guys are special, and, oh, I just love you. That sounds like Mark Applier's channel. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Shirts fired, but yeah. You guys are special, too. Uh, Tater Tots, I love you all. <laughs> I think that this is, you know, if either of us ever gets, like, to a million subscribers or even half a we million. We burned bridges. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying that's going to happen to us. We're going to become, you know, because I think what happens is you get inundated with all these people who are like, you know, like your channel really has brought me joy in dark times. You know, your channel oh, yeah, helped me when this. I had, you know, broken my neck and was near dying, but I was in the hospital bed and I just watched your videos and you made me live. And it's like, I think that when you get that huge, you kind of get into that position where you're like, God, I really have to talk up, all, you know, my fan base because I could be saving somebody's life. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I also get it. Like, because it's, it, you wind up building a connection and like, I get those every so often. It's like, and you do appreciate it. So no... No offense to Mark or what, he's never going to hear this. But either way, it's like, I, I, I get it. Right. I get it. I get it. But that said, the Catsup does Screw believe this. that Markiplier is the worst YouTuber today. So anyway, what is your choice? Uh... Oh, wait, no. You oh, did your someone, choice. That's right. Someone's projecting their beliefs onto other <laughs> people. No, no. See, what I did is I made the accusation and then I rolled forward. So now the time for responding has passed and you get no say. So. Oh, that, that's what happened. All right, sure. <laughs> All right. So you're up. Would I rather get an atomic wedgie? That's already fun. Or a swirly? I think that's a very simple answer. Uh, oh, you know, there's a. There, I missed the top part. You're playing connect. <laughs> there's a top part to this. Whoops. I what? <laughs> I missed the question up top. There's a question. <laughs> oh, was. Did you not answer what you thought you were answering, or? I guess so. Yeah, I was just, I just picked. Yeah. Well, whoops. <laughs> Cats so up. would I get atomic? Yeah. Cats up. Are you drunk? I wish I was. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have to go with atomic wedgie because putting your head in the toilet is 
just objectively not something anybody would want done. So, that's the, have you had a really bad atomic wedgie? Uh, like, where I you think bleed that, a little bit. You bleed a little bit. That's a that's a bad atomic wedgie. I think I would rather get a bleeding atomic wedgie on my back end than have my face in toilet water. I mean, it comes down in to that thing to- of you know, you, you know, would you rather be punched in the face? Or would you rather be kicked in the ass? I'd rather be kicked in the ass, you know. <laughs> uh, toilets are surprisingly clean. Like mouths are way dirty than, <laughs> than cleans. True. In toilets, I mean. I Imagine mean... how dirty your mouth is going to be after it's been in the toilet. I mean. Uh, but yeah, so... I, mine is split sixty forty on that. Forty people, forty so, percent so... of people want a swirly. It's weird. I I would go with uh, butt play as well. Oh really? Interesting. Yeah, I'd go. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for butt play. Why not? Okay, so you're playing Connect Four against an emotionally unstable man with an explosive temper. Would you rather take him down, let him win? Hmm. So somebody takes Connect Four a little too seriously because perhaps their parents were killed in the Connect Four accident. And it's like the Connect Four of Batman. Yeah, it's the Connect Four of Batman. That's exactly it. You know, I, I, am, the, I am the Black Pieces. I'm always the black pieces. Where are the extra pieces? <laughs> Where is your piece going? But yeah. Anyway, so you could take down a rageaholic who takes games way too seriously, or you could let him win and avoid the trouble. What would you rather so, antagonize him, or would you rather possibly give up some of your honor, you know, to just let him win? Or potentially get stabbed. I, I think I'll let him win. <laughs> Surprisingly, forty-eight, fifty-two, forty-eight people wow. are like, "I'll take him down." All right, well, I don't know. Have you, if you deal with enough emotionally unstable people, you might get stabbed. Huh. There, there's possible stabbings. Maybe it's online Connect Four, and you don't really have to worry. You can just log oh, out. Oh, if it's online, see, I'll take him down. Yeah, screw okay. him. It's his fault. <laughs> He's using all his Connect enough. Four taunts, you know. <laughs> but he's anyway. secretly gathering information on you, and he's like, "Ah." <laughs> Uh, you get connect out of your four, house the movie, one day. But yeah. You walk out of your house one day, you get stabbed, and all you hear is "Connect four, bitches." Oh <laughs> man! You're like, ah. <laughs> and and all you can say as you're dying on the pavement with blood leaking out of your body, you look up to the heavens with glassy eyes and say, "Pretty sneaky, sis." <laughs> That's Worth it. it. <sighs> anyway, 1980s commercial references. Yeah. My my thing is, would I rather be an excellent singer or a superb writer? Oof. I mean, I'm You'll already a superb writer, so. <laughs> oh yeah, you're just you're that good. Yeah, you're like the <laughs> you're the Edgar Allan Poe of today. Oh man, yeah, I'm I'm so superb that nobody can criticize my work. So. Because <laughs> no one's read it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a minor that's a minor uh, problem, but you know, I, uh, I prefer to look at the bright side. Well, I would actually I mean, pick excellent. I I would pick singer over writer just because I feel like I've done writing. So I haven't done singing, and I can't sing. You have more potential to be you know rich and famous as a singer because no one cares about writers. It that sucks, is very but, true. That is very true. So yeah, I'm so, gonna be a singer. If, oh wow! So if you if you were a singer. And you were like a teenage girl, and, and remotely attractive. You'd be, <laughs> you'd be, especially if you're Taylor Swift. No, like, now eh. wait a minute. Is this just like your head canon of how this collaboration is going to end up working out for you, or what? Yeah, I get the sex change, learn to sing. <laughs> um, I start doing country for a bit, and then I show my tatas, and then now I'm on. You know, every boy's thanking it to me, and I make millions of dollars. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the fappening three with the ketchup. Yeah, I'm learning through Taylor Swift and uh, Tyler per- Katy Perry. I wasn't Tyler. Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Perry in the fucking cupcake bra. <laughs> tomato, tomato. They're both the same to me. <laughs> Baby, you're a firework. <laughs> uh, so would you rather? <laughs> anyway. So would you rather have all your limbs cut off? A very dull butter knife, or have have to go to every single local WNBA game for the rest of your life. Oh, geez, that's so somebody tough. Somebody does. Someone does not like women's basketball. 
Hmm. I prefer. I love uh, women's basketball. I watch it. I go to every game I can. Just. I don't believe every you. Game. I try to. I try to. You you and try to. How many have you successfully I, gone to? I usually I try to stick around the the, the locker rooms. Oh. In the locker rooms. Can I just say, honestly, you're probably not going to get much play there, but yeah. I know, but, you know, man can dream. (laughs) I'm I'm fine with women's basketball. Oh, sorry, Gad? I'm fine with women's basketball. I'm taking women's basketball. Oh, I was going to say, do you want your limbs cut off, or do you want to watch people who play like their limbs have been cut off? But yeah. Uh, Ah, Get uh, the jokes. uh, Someone doesn't like women. (laughs) <laughs> I don't like basketball. Back in their kitchen. Hmm. <laughs> How about slam dunking some toast into the toaster? No, wait, I can do that. That's not. That's not anything that you have to do. Okay. Would you rather have an iPhone or have an Android device? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, it's controversial. Oh, controversial. Uh, I'm an Android man. Yes. I, I know that about you. Nobody who yeah. has that voice can be a real person. So No, no, no. It's, it's all apps. All yeah. of it. A whole channel, my voice, all apps. The Ketsup is actually a 10-year-old girl who talks into her Android and has the voice modulator turn her into the Ketsup. Plot twist. That 10-year-old girl, girl is an app herself. This is all just advertisement Holy for shit. McDonald's. It's like I appception. Know. So uh, I, here's a fun fact. I have never had a mobile phone at all. Mobile phone, oh, smartphone, cell phone, anything throughout history. Interesting. So uh, I would... Gee, I don't, I don't even know what I would go with here. It's like, would you rather wear your ball cap forward like, would, or backward? I don't... Would you rather join a cult or just have a phone? <laughs> That's pretty much what it's saying. Oh, so you're saying that iPhone is a cult? It's pretty much. There's a blood oath. Uh, you got to sacrifice a virgin. Uh, it's, but it's it's a good phone. You know, it's almost worth it. But what about all the evils of Google? It's all, it's all just, it's all McDonald's by the end of the day. Yeah. That's Anyways, true. there's a coupon now. Bada up, 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 McDonald's. I probably, I guess I'll go with Android because I feel like I hate Apple more than I hate Google. So There we go, yeah. Oh, only 43% agreed with me. Interesting. <laughs> Everybody wants their uh, eye products. It's a lot of people in that cult. Um, <laughs> okay, so would you rather teach Spanish or teach math? <laughs> That's rather vanilla. <laughs> Vaguely racist. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's like subtly racist. Like, <laughs> would you rather teach uh, bean language or teach math? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's sort of like, you know, uh, would you rather teach Spanish or something else nobody wants to learn? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I math. suck at both. Yeah, I suck at both. Um, Can you do math in Spanish? I know very poor Spanish, and I know very poor math. Can, can you count in Spanish? Probably to ten. Let's do that together. Ready? No. Oh. I, I watched enough Dora the Explorer. I'm good. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Be that way. It was funny because I was in calculus in high school, but once college came, I was like, I don't care about math anymore. <laughs> well, uh, you were like too many, too much, too many booties out here to grab. Not you know the college you know lifestyle took its toll on the ketchup. I would I would speak Spanish because you get to probably eat more burritos. I'm oh. I'm assuming, and I love burritos. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! I'll, I'll take I'll take people to like Taco Bell or whatever. Like, es, es un taco. <laughs> oh man! But you're you're teaching it though, so you're gonna just teach a whole generation of children just to order tacos. <laughs> Pretty much. Wow! That's all you need. Day one, oh, yeah. you just write it on the blackboard. Memorize this, it's all you need. You walk out of the room. I just tape, like, the Taco Bell menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So you chose uh, Spanish. Okay. I how, chose Spanish. How many people agreed with you? 45%. Oh, okay, so it's not really that 55% split. of people do, do not like Mexican food, which hmm. I find, that's crazy. Well, 
when your racism gets in the way of enjoying a delicacy, that's that's truly sad for them. Yeah. yeah. And I gotta go open the door, I'll be right back. T you know, just don't do anything that you'll regret. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that a threat? What is that? Just don't don't do anything or else I might cut you. I might cut you. So we're alone, audience. Me and Tormental's audience. How about uh, you take off them panties and hmm. we get to know... What? Uh, hey, Torm. Hmm. How you do? Just talking hmm. to your audience for a bit. Why is a 10-year-old girl with a voice-changing app asking someone to take off their panties? I, well, actually, technically, it's McDonald's that's asking him to take off <laughs> Okay. So, so, so what's your next question? <laughs> so would you rather have a... Me uh, Ah, so our meteoric rise and a painful hard crash from fame or remain completely unknown for your entire life well that's pretty stupid I'm pretty much that. I think I might be hitting number one so that might be fun Ooh. I think that's our goal you and I to hit number one just like a eh, kind of rise to fame and then a, just a hard crash of drugs and what not yeah, I mean, if you know the crash is coming, you know, yeah. it's not like it's going to be some big shock. Just prepare the drugs once yeah. you know that's happening. <laughs> Just stockpile the coke. <laughs> yeah. It's like an investment now. You got you got, you got got gold, you got silver, you got coke. There you all, go. All comes in bricks, but yeah. So I'm going to pick that one. All right. Wow, well, a lot of people. You. No, no. A lot of people would just rather be unknown. Weird. They're, false think, modesty. I think it's uh, it's it's. I hate to say it. I don't really call myself. I think it's because we're YouTubers. I think we seek that attention. I thought I told you never to use the <laughs> Y T word. I don't. I I don't like that. But the McDonald's uh, and told me to say it. So, <laughs> I you know what what is your MCN again? By the way, I think I no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's your MCN? Can you put a word in for me? Ugh. Hmm. I don't know. YouTube. YouTube. It's full of soulless, soulless people. And that's why we're here. Trying to attain fame by tricking young, impressionable, peop uh, ugh, young impressionable people into thinking they're watching quality entertainment when really it's full of problems and misspeaking and things like that. Penis. That That's depressing. Would I rather <laughs> be convicted as a corrupt politician... That sounds or, awesome. Or be convicted as a corrupt Fortune 500 CEO. Politician, because everyone's going to talk about you forever. Hmm. You'll be the next Bill Clinton. But what about the money aspect? Uh, I still rather be Bill Clinton. Hmm. That's like that's the best. It's like everyone still loves you, and you fingered some girl <laughs> with a cigar. Okay, <laughs> that's your. Or the dream. CEO, it's like he's a pig, evil. Ugh, he he destroyed my family's fortune, and then we're Bill Clinton. Even though he kind of had a part in that, people don't remember that. They just remember the fingering. Well, I feel like I would rather be the CEO because, firstly, you have the big stockpile of money socked away for when you get out, if you ever get out. Second, you have the money to pay your way through the prison system. You know, e even if you're not sent to a really high-class, you know, cakewalk correctional facility, you still would have enough money to buy protection, buy your way through everything. Thirdly, I think that while we remember corrupt politicians who they were, I think a lot of us don't even know, you know, don't even remember the names of a lot of the CEOs who have been convicted of crimes throughout history. <laughs> So I could probably just get out and just live anonymously. I don't know. Bill Clinton's a sex symbol, so um, well, I'm still on Bill. I'm going. I'm going with CEO, which has 65% approval. So there. <laughs> you guys are all wrong. Uh, you guys well, are. You guys are wrong. Ugh. Money talks. Blowjobs <laughs> walk. Uh, there's a website about that. I think. Hmm. Would you rather? Blowjobs. <laughs> The most uncomfortable. Like, hey, stand, stand still. Ah, just, ah. Uh, uh, Someone so in front of you just, like, on a skateboard? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you walk? 
<laughs> oh, hi, Bill, and you turned. <laughs> uh, not in the year, come on. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so would you rather be stuck in a room with dead bodies, fun already? Eat five spiders, or eat five spiders. Huh. Um, well, how long will I be stuck in a room? Because it'll be fun for, like, 20 minutes. Now, you here's do... the thing. Wouldn't you rather, uh, eat dead spiders than be stuck in a room with live people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine the five well, I mean, like, worst people you can think of. You can have, like, your dreams come true, all the, the things that you can't do or you'll go to jail for. They're already there in that room. Boom. But I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be with them for, like, more than like, an hour, I guess. Hmm. So. And I'm willing to eat bugs. I've eaten crickets and stuff. God damn it. I have. That's good. There's, a, there's actually a, a place in L.A., where they do traditional, <laughs> like, a Mexican uh, tacos, because it's, like, a cultural thing, and, like, sometimes they have, like, crickets and stuff hmm. cooked. And they're just really good. It's salty, but it's good. And you got so addicted to it that you just pull up to the Petco, <laughs> go over to the reptile food aisle, buy a big box of crickets, and just go home happy. I've had sour cream crickets. Oh, That's God. disgusting. That is not good. It's not good. Yeah. So when you're so like, I guess when you're out and a fly goes in your mouth, you must be like, mmm, free lunch. Mmm, protein. Mm, no it such thing as a free lunch, eh? Of... Uh, so I will pick out of curiosity spiders. That's a lot of bodies. Weird. A lot of people picked bodies. I would have picked the dead bodies because anything they had on them would be f like a free gift, you know? Uh, well, I'm just curious what a spider would taste like, so <laughs> I'm wanting the penguin. I want to eat a penguin. That's God. like my dream in life, to eat a penguin. It's not a joke. I want to eat a penguin. <laughs> I want to eat one. Are you gonna, them. Are you going to watch a penguin movie as you dine? Like yeah, Happy I mean, Feet or March of the Penguins? Why, why, do, why do chickens get a bad rap? We could eat them, but penguins are like, ah, you know, don't eat penguins. <laughs> Screw, I'm tired of them on their high, their high horses. I'm going to eat a penguin. Penguins care. are just chickens of the sea. I mean. Pretty much, yeah. Screw those guys. Uh, I'll eat their penguin little legs. Anyway, you gonna eat the chin strap off the chin strap penguin? Uh, it's it's not a joke. I'm just I'm just asking. What what? <laughs> what I, I, I don't know how to eat. I, I just eat them. I don't care. Would you I'll rather live in the Doctor Who, Who universe or live in the Star Wars universe? Well, that one's dumb. So this is basically live in the Doctor Who universe. Okay, so it's exactly as I am now, except that someone somewhere is having adventures. <laughs> exactly. It's like someone's having, except you're just blatantly aware that someone out there <laughs> is having way more fun than you. <laughs> and you're you like, just, well. You see like a phone booth one day and you're like, oh, is that? No, it's just a blue booth. Damn it. Maybe, maybe he'll pick me. Maybe. Oh, he picked that hot girl. He always goes for the hot girl. That's right. Damn. Ah, oh, it turns booth. out that was just a blue porta potty. I thought for sure. Well, hot relative to British, you know, standards. <laughs> but, well, that's true. <laughs> it's like because for me, it's like, eh, whatever. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've chosen the most beautiful woman in all of Europe, and it's like, hello, <laughs> Doctor Who. Uh, I don't know why she has well, that accent a... if she's over there, but. <laughs> but Star Wars, it's like your planet could be destroyed any moment. Well, so. see, that's the thing. You know, you look at. Like Luke Skywalker's life before he was called upon for anything, and you figure that's probably like the average life of someone in the Star Wars universe. A moisture farmer. Yeah, but you <laughs> I still do love get that. robots and shit. Moisture farmer. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> only if your family is into it. You know, if your family's in the moisture farming business, yeah, you're a moisture farmer. Otherwise, you know, you could be. I could be like a YouTuber of the Star Wars universe, but I would have robots. So. Oh my god. PewDiePie in Star Wars. It's like, imagine uh. not just through the, the the world, it's uh. through like the galaxy that everyone knows PewDiePie. I'm just picturing, all I can picture is, hey bro, you're totally not my father. And he's like, yes, I am. And he's like, ah! <laughs> and then it goes right in the reaction compilation. <laughs> uh, PewDiePie reacts uh. to his father being revealed as Darth Vader, but... So yeah, 66% went with me, Star Wars Universe. 
Yeah, I'll go Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, so would you rather mag- uh, magically flip genders every year or be forced to move and start fresh every year? Oh. So, geographical location versus gender? Yes. Well, I know what you would pick. What would I pick? You would pick the gender swap. Mm, you would think that. You would be curious. I know you. I would. You want to eat I, penguins. I, I want to eat penguins. You're telling me you don't yeah. want to have a vagina every other year. Well, it'd be fun. I'd still be a, uh, you know, a guy at heart. But I have a vagina. <laughs> Can yeah. I just have them both? Why not? Just... Couldn't you, s- <laughs> you could spend your man years, like we said, stocking up, and then you could spend your woman years just at home the entire time, <laughs> just having fun. Yeah, I'd go. I'd go out. I'd go out. Oh, okay. Uh, but on the flip side, I don't people. even remember what the other option was. Oh yeah, so be forced to move. Yeah, I mean, would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I mean, depends if you have the finances for it. So, yeah. it's like. Get out of your house and yeah. Uh, get get out of your house, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I get both? <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I I'll pick the gender. The gender. A lot of people, sixty percent, pick gender. There you go. A lot of people are curious. Well, you got to figure all the women, you know. Yeah. Get Boy, to every other year I get respect. Oh, get it? Uh, oh, higher pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, uh, wouldn't that be funny? Every year, you know, you come into work as a woman on New Year's, and the boss is like, "Hmm, completely unrelated, but I'm going to be docking your salary." <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's going to be around like what, seventy percent, eighty percent? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, oh wait, is it my turn or yours? Yeah, it's my it's turn. Your... Oh man, <sighs> here's okay. Would you rather? Be Nyan Cat, or however you'd pronounce that. Yeah. Or have the ability to make any rage face of your choice. Hmm. Well, this is the fucking question of the goddamn century right here. You want to you want to be a Pop Tart Cat in space, <laughs> or be able to make faces? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be a Pop Tart Cat in space, or make any face? See, I like musicals. Yeah, there we go, yeah. Uh, huh. I... Now you just need to be a woman, and you're perfect. <laughs> and you need, like, a the skimpy little bra, and, like, you need to wear, like, meat on your head. Okay, but enough about your f- frantic fever dreams, and... No, fantasy. Wrong one. I swear, I, you know, this is why... This is why there's trouble in your current relationship, because you keep mumbling tormental in your sleep, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would pick the uh, bup, 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 the the one that I'm not a edible thing in space. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was just about to do yeah. that because it's like I don't really I don't really want to be a cat. I would rather just be able to, you know, if you could make fa- wow, if you could make faces like that and you had a face cam, talk about YouTube success. Oh man, yeah. Oh, it's Freddy Fazbear. Four, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, seventy-one yeah. percent agree with us. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you rather be in a room filled with people dying again? These are fun, or be the only person in a big empty room? Huh? <laughs> what? You're gonna be in a room. Would you like to be there alone, or would you like to be there with several moaning, complaining, terminal cases? <laughs> uh... I mean, again, we have to look at the fact that anything they own would be yours on their person. That is true, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, when it, when is, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I, I feel like this is the precursor to the following question with the room with a bunch of dead people. <laughs> God. The guy who survived didn't survive. That's the plot twist. <laughs> oh, snap. Um, he ate the spiders and died from poisoning, but yeah. Uh, I guess... I guess I just picked the big empty room. <laughs> huh. I just don't like hanging out with people sometimes. I'm I'm guessing that 99% of people chose what you chose. Uh, 87%. Yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> Would you well, rather be alone or be around a bunch of bitching dead people? Well, because like they're you, when you're dying, like eventually when you die, you relieve yourself, and you're going to be in a room filled with poop. Oh, that's it's true. Just, it's going to smell. I bet you wish you'd thought of that before you picked that choice. No, I picked a uh, big empty room. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I could do whatever I want in there, so. You could even <laughs> start dying. Yay! <laughs> Would you rather be the best-known person in a small band that under 200 people know, or be some guy on the sidelines of your favorite band? Does Again, that mean I'm in my favorite band? Maybe. You're a part of your favorite band, even though you're on the sidelines. Uh, My favorite bands tend to include... It's ABBA, isn't it? Your favorite band's ABBA. <laughs> yeah, be, imagine being someone. on the sidelines of ABBA. There's like these three beautiful people, and you're like, Hi, everyone. <laughs> Take We're a chance ABBA. on me. <laughs> Did you know that the band's name is the same backwards and forwards? <laughs> Boo, sing the song. No. Um, <laughs> the thing is, you know, that the majority of my favorite bands include my waifus. So <laughs> sure I, would, I would prefer to be on the sidelines myself. And 58% well, I, of okay. people agree with me. You have to pick a band now. I have to know. I have to know. Pick at least one. Uh... I, Mindless self indulgence. I don't know ever, what that is. Ever heard of them? <laughs> no. Okay. Mindless self indulgence and incredibly, uh, it's it's like the quintessential, you know, rebel do anything band. You know, we don't give a fuck type people, and you know, but on a famous corporate level, and they have a guitarist by the name of Lindsay who does back bends that I very much appreciate. Hmm. So hmm. I would I would be on the sidelines of that. I don't I don't mind. I, I guess I'll go with that. Your same <laughs> band, so I could just watch you watch them. I could also be in uh, Die Antwoord, if you've heard of them. Don't don't South know. African rap duo with a very. I feel like you're just you're just making up stuff. Now. A very cute little blonde that you know often flashes the audience, and I could be on the sidelines of that. Who's the Who's the girl? Are the Oh, I'm trying to think of a baby metal band. Uh, oh, I can't uh, think of what... uh, I I know one of the songs, but I don't know the name. It's like of the chocolate band. something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, that I think song you know what where the lyrics about. are da 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 da. Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, so that's the one we're picking. <laughs> let's make up a baby a baby metal band name. Uh, infanticide. Uh, Japanese schoolgirl spread. Oh, now that sounds a, like a that sounds like a condiment. No, that's a fantasy more than anything. <laughs> uh, moving on, what's your next question? <laughs> okay, would you rather only use a Mac? God, this is stupid. Or only use a PC, Windows PC? Holy crap! Would you rather use a PC or would you rather use sit at and type at a toilet? Gee, I wonder what would be better. Hmm. So yeah, yeah, but he, I don't. I think I skipped it. Now that I think about it, I, just, <laughs> I didn't click anything. I just left because it was at, uh, I guess PC, obviously. So. Yeah. I mean, you were like, "Fuck this question, goodbye." <laughs> I think it subconsciously my brain went, "Ah." Oh, <laughs> Would I rather only speak in words that begin with H, or not be able to say any words that have the letter E in them? That's. Fucking that's interesting. stupid. No, that's interesting. That's interesting when you think about it. Okay. How would you express anything, any thought, with only words that begin with H? There is a... Uh, uh, yeah, that's true. There's actually a condition. I forget what it's called. And I was talking... I was going over this with uh, my girl. Yeah, whatever. Anyways. Um, <laughs> with and the, the Japanese the school girl. With the Japanese school girl. That's spreading. Um and the condition is the person is like very confident and they're talking like normal, but their sentences make absolutely no sense. Word salad. It'd like, yeah, it'd be like uh, basketball and the tumor went to the high school, but I found that no one likes uh, Chinese people on Thursdays. Hmm. <laughs> and so stuff like that, and it's like, and they they believe what they're saying makes is coherent, and but it's just it's just gar gibberish. I'm not sure why you just told me that. 
you know, tuna salad is your favorite dish, but only when you're eating with your Aunt Myrtle, but sure. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's what you said. You, you don't even realize? Oh, no. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, anyway, uh... I would have to pick no words with the letter E because you can express thoughts. That way you cannot do that with the letter H because it would just be like, That's hi, true. Lim- Harvey. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. Help. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, comma, help. <laughs> the, the children's <laughs> book by the ketchup. <laughs> you know what? I've written children's books. So I think I'll do that next time. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, help. But yeah, I mean, you know, all you could, uh, the only thing I could see being useful is hungry because you, you, would, yeah. you wouldn't starve because you would just be able to say hungry. But well, you would still be able to say that with, without the E's. So. Well, I'm saying, you know, with the letter H, if you could only use that. Yeah, you know, you, at oh, least yeah. you'd be able to say hungry. I have to go with yeah. no e's, which uh, yeah, me. Wow, me are people dumb? Fifty-four <laughs> percent of people said only words that begin with H. I think we thought about this way too much. We thought about this oh. more than the average person would have. Yeah, we we just dis- we dissected it to the point where it was just retarded. Holy hell! How okay, humorous. So we- anyway. Would you rather, and this one's kind of offensive towards me, be a graphic designer or be an architect? Hmm. I, well, I, on one hand, you're drawing things that actually matter. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, oh. If anyone knows, I do graphics. Yeah, on one hand, you're getting paid the big bucks. In the other hand, you might get paid minimum wage. Uh. <laughs> But here's the thing, being an architect has a lot more rules to it. That's true. You, I mean, like, you know, you draw wrong, people die. <laughs> <laughs> that is, and if I draw wrong as a graphic designer, it's like, why are there all these penises on this ad? It's like, well, I don't know, it just felt like it. Yeah. Isn't that what your company <laughs> sells, dicks? Like, no. <laughs> uh, this is a... Uh, We're a battered we're women's so- shelter. <laughs> Good night, everybody. That was it. (laughs) 